Welcome back, Keller ATA family. This is Miss Angie, and today I'm going to draw Narsha. And Narsha is the character that represents the brown belt. And she's an awesome cobra. Her name means flying high. And I really like her because she just never gives up and she has a great attitude. So Narsha isn't terribly hard to draw, but there's a couple extra steps that you're gonna have to take to get her the shape of her head. So first we're gonna start with a rectangle. One side of the rectangle is gonna be small and the other side is gonna be bigger. Then you're gonna round that off at the top. Okay, now from there, we're gonna make a triangle shape here and that's gonna help you get the right shape for her. All right, so now let's go in here. So her head, let's see, just like this, we're gonna make a little box shape here. And it's gonna roll around this way, just like that. Almost like the bottom part of a really big letter D. Do you see that? If I had kept going up, this would be a big letter D, but we're not gonna do that. All right, so there's her head here, just like that. I'm gonna round this a little bit. Remember, these are just guides. They're gonna help me build her because everything you wanna draw can be built from shapes. All right, now from there, This, this is like a really long winding road, if you will. Just like that. There we go. This part here, we wanna make sure that we're curving this, and then we're gonna curve this in as well. Make it match the picture. There you go, that way you can see it a little bit better. And then I'm just gonna match the wind of the road on this side, on this side over here too. Here we go. There's that. Now I'm gonna come back this way. You can go through the body lightly. That way you make sure that your tail is staying about the same width. And this is, like right here you can see the letter S. So let's do that part. There's a big letter S right there. And we're gonna work around that. And then we're going to just finish up the tail. There it is. There's her tail and body. Let's see. i bring this this way a little bit more. There. Now we're going to erase everything we don't need. Try to clean up these lines a little bit. They are useful because they get us to the image we want but then we need to clean them up real nice. Now, to do her face, let's see, all faces have guides, so let's do this. There's her eyes, her nose, and her mouth are really close to one another. So this is gonna kind of be the top of her eyes right here. Come down. She's got like a half egg shape for the eyes. There we go. Make sure she has beautiful eyebrows. It's a little thicker at the top. 
And we want to make sure we give her her pupils there and a nice little circle. And she's got eyelashes too. She's a sassy snake. All right. And then she's got her nostrils there and a wonderful smile. Don't forget her tongue. There you go. Erase in between. There you go. And she needs her little stripes up here. This one on this side of the line. And you gotta make sure you do the other one on the other side. Then we are going to, when you do these lines here in the center, they are kind of going down and up. So make sure you swoop down. And then she needs her black band here. Color that in to remind yourself that's solid. And the rest are just lovely little stripes until we get right about here. And then you're just gonna keep coming around like that. And now from this side, the circles are going out or up. There we go. And just keep going around with those lovely bands. There you go. You can make a thicker line here. And color that in to help you remember that when you color, you want that to be dark. And there you go. There's Miss Narsha for you. Not terribly hard. But the start, you have to make sure you start with that rectangle and then triangle to get you the right scale and size of the character. All right, well, it was fun drawing for you. Can't wait to see what you guys create and make and bring into Miss Mary for that drawing contest. See you next time.